certainly getting back into the uh, New Zealand side wasn't a difficult assignment for you. Uh, how? Uh, yeah, we turned it around pretty nicely, I think. Um, we sort of got some conditions that suited us a little bit more, um, with a bit more swing in the air for Bolte, and um, Dutchie obviously got it nibbling off the deck as well, and um, any time you can um, knock over a team like India for 90-odd for and, and chase it, you're obviously pretty happy with that as a result as a team, even if you don't contribute a whole lot personally. But when you come away from there and you come to Wellington, conditions could be totally different. You, the same might not necessarily apply. Yeah, you sort of never know what you're going to get um, at the stadium down in Wellington as far as pitching conditions go. But um, look, we know that the conditions are going to vary um, in different parts of the country and also um, on tournaments sort of coming up, we're going to vary as well. So um, we want to be a team that can perform in, in all conditions and, and that's obviously what we're looking to do coming to the next game is back up a good performance um, with another one. You've had some good performances against uh, Sri Lanka. Are you confident in your performance, uh, well, your ability at the moment to continue that? Yeah, oh, absolutely, I think. Um, Sri Lanka were obviously um, a little bit of a, I suppose, a less of a challenge than India. India are obviously one of the best teams in the world. Um, so they sort of put, pose questions in different ways, but um, I think any time you're, you're scoring runs and taking wickets, um, you sort of take that confidence into the next series, no matter who it's against. So um, hopefully um, I get a bit more of a chance to, to show what I've got in this next game and, and hopefully continue on from the Sri Lanka series. The batsmen are a challenge at the top of the order if you get the ball against them, aren't they? Yeah, well, I think the stats speak for themselves. I think the last two years, their top three averages for 20 odd more than, than any other country in the world. So um, they've obviously got a whole lot of quality at the top there. Obviously, um, Virat is resting um, for the rest of the series, but um, there's a lot of wraps on, on the rest of their top order as well. So um, it's certainly not a case of, of getting complacent. We've just got to go out and, and sort of put the ball in the right areas again, um, as Bolte did, especially in Hamilton. And, and we know that when you play good cricket, um, everyone's human, people can make mistakes, and, and hopefully we can run through them again. Um, yes, six. Another couple turned out from somewhere. Um, uh, not really. I think um, it's sort of or almost I've done it before uh, for me. It's a bit like Groundhog Day um, from four years ago with that World Cup race. And, and I think having that experience of, of sort of desperately wanting to, to make a team for a big tournament and, and missing out um, sort of puts me in good stead for this time around. And I sort of know what not to do and, and what not to focus on. And, um, for me, uh, my attitude for the whole season has been that I won't make it, so what's the point in stressing about it? Um, and sort of, I'm not going to change that mindset, which has obviously been working so far. So uh, for me, it's just about going out, having fun, bowling a heavy ball, trying to whack it, and if the runs come or they don't, then so be it. What have you learned from four years ago? Uh, I think probably putting less pressure on myself to succeed. I think um, I remember four years ago we had a, a one day series in the UAE. and. Um, it sort of felt like every game was, was make or break as far as the World Cup squad went and um, sort of put a lot of pressure on myself to succeed every innings knowing that you sort of need a performance or two to, to cement your spot and um, that's obviously a long, long time back in the memory banks now but um, I know coming into to this tournament um, it's just about accepting what comes. You obviously can't control whether you take wickets or score runs um, as much as people try and think you can but um, it's just about going out and, and being relaxed and as I said before, if the runs and wickets come, they do. If they don't, so be it. Uh, yeah, I went back to the to the flat last night and had dinner with the, the flatmates. So, um, yeah, it feels a little bit more comfortable. It's obviously a, a bit more of a pleasant temperature down here than it was up in Hamilton. Um, but, yeah, I sort of feel like um, I know the lie of the land I'm pretty well here. Even um, prior to moving to Wellington, I had a good record um, at the base and in Wellington. So, um, yeah, it certainly is a more comfortable venue for me. Um, I, I, we haven't played much at the Basin as a, as a Wellington team, so um, there would have been a few guys um, in our squad who'd never played there before um, for the Ford Trophy final, so um, having sort of the risk of turning up for conditions you're not sure of, um, it sort of seemed like a bit of a, a silly risk to take for us, and then we opted to play away, and um, I suppose the proof's in the pudding as far as that goes. We've got a trophy in the cabinet domestically, so... Um, that's in the past now, obviously looking to focus more from the New Zealand side. Um, we've played here, played at the base and a lot more as a New Zealand team. Um, so we should know the conditions a bit better and, and obviously looking forward to getting out there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think um, in all three facets of the game, um, undoubtedly in my mind, I think. Um, even, even a couple of years ago, I sort of had the ability but didn't really know 
know what to do with it and didn't know how to sort of handle myself mentally and how to get the best out of myself and and I think that's the big change over the last year or so for me is actually learning to, to control the mental side of the game. And um, it's obviously paid huge dividends in the last year or so um, in all forms of the game. Um, so I think I'll just take that moving forward and, and obviously still continue to look to improve. But um, I feel like I've got the blueprint now moving forward. You had to sort of pinch yourself over the last year. And, you know, you just over a year ago on the Otago side now, you know, chasing the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of a, a long journey, I think. Um, it was just about a year to the day um, from taking a break from the game um, when I got picked to, to come back into the New, New Zealand side. So um, you don't focus on those those journeys, but um, certainly in New Zealand cricket, because um, there's only six teams and probably only six all-rounders, um, you never fire away if you string a few good performances together. But um, certainly that was my focus moving to Wellington, um, was to revitalise my career, and, and it seems to have gone that way. Oh, look, his record speaks for itself. I think he's a fantastic player. Um, there's sort of been some noises made, especially from Indian media, about whether he should be in their World Cup squad or not. But I think, as I said,